Browns fans rejoice. We've got a Baker Mayfield custom helmet build coming up. I'm Jay. we got Steve behind the camera, and this is the Heads Up Show. All right, so today we are building a Cleveland Browns Baker Mayfield helmet. This is probably going to be about 98, 99% accurate. We're kind of tweaking a couple of little things. We'll go over those when we get to them. Before we get into this one, we want to give some shout outs. Uh, the last video we put up, or one of the previous videos that we put up, we got way more really well thought out answers than we thought we were going to get. So we decided we want to give back a little. So we've got five of our decals here, our uh, Transfer decal. Transfer decal, Steve. I got you. Uh, that we're going to send out to basically our five favorite comments. So shout out to Grayson East for the suggestion. I, I, I took your suggestion. So, yes, so uh, thank yeah. you, Grayson. You know what we are talking about. Yes, sir. And as far as the people who are getting transfer decals, we reached out to you already. You know who you are. But big shout out and thank you to Chris and Alicia Rivera, Ethan Gilman, Federico Garcia, Saverdoom, and Philip Cockrell. Yeah, so these were basically uh, comments that you left on our video where we were talking about the helmet rule or the new helmet rule, lowering the helmet, I guess is the penalty. Right? Crazy, meeting crazy rule. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't checked that video, we'll put a link right up here for it. Go check it out. It's kind of our take on uh, where we think or what we think about this new helmet rule in the NFL. Let's do this. Uh, authentic Riddell excuse me, should I say a Riddell Speed Authentic Cleveland Browns helmet. Uh, we sell these on our website, along with all of the other NFL helmets. And uh, we have removed already the uh, NFL shield because we're moving that onto the other side of the helmet. Uh, on the NFL helmets they, uh, from Riddell, they're still on the left. And now in the NFL, they wear them on the right and the flag goes on the left. I should say most teams are wearing them on the right. Some actually still wear the shields on the left. I'm gonna start with the decals in the back because there's not that many of them, Steve. And as uh, everyone knows, I like to put my decals on the back of the helmet first uh, before we put the face mask on. Just a little bit easier to set the helmet like this. So we are going to start with our US Emboss Tech flag. And I'll tell you, Jay, we've had a bunch of collectors thank you for that tip. They said it's such a stupid idea that they just never even thought of. Yeah. Just just take the face mask off well, or do it first. I, I hate to say it, Steve, but it probably took me a, a while to think of it. <laughs> too, too long. Yeah. And, you know, these embossed tag flags, they're available only at Green Grid Iron. We've sold them to a bunch of teams. So be on the lookout for the embossed tag flags. They're fantastic, Steve. I know you're going to get some great all um, close up shots of those. There you go. The Browns wear their numbers on the back. And we are taking this one a step further, Steve, and we are using our soon-to-be-released 3D bumper numbers. Things are cool as hell. We're going to have a bunch of different colors. Uh, it's probably not going to be until after this season starts, maybe not even until the spring that we have them all in. But we got samples in. Uh, we're working with 3D bumpers on those. We love them. They're fantastic. If you want to buy a Cleveland Browns face mask, the name of the color brown on our website, guess what it is, Steve? Uh, Cleveland Brown. That's right. Cleveland Brown. Not mm -hmm. to be confused with Wyoming Brown. Big difference. And I'll give you a, a guess as to who wears Wyoming Brown the most. Hmm. Hmm. Well, see if you can guess. All right. So that's it. So we basically got our flag. We got our number. Uh, and we have our NFL shield. The Browns wear their warning label on the left side, but this helmet came with the warning label on the right. So we're just going to leave it there. Uh, we have already updated, upgraded this helmet to the quick release system. We're gonna put the visor in here first. So let's move this guy out of the way. The Browns wear unbranded visor, Under Armour visor clips, of which we have a pair. And while it's very difficult to tell on TV, they are brown and they match the face mask. And so, this, this, is such, this is one of those dark colors. There's a bunch of dark colors that are so dark that it looks black under certain, certain lighting conditions in the daytime, where it's really, really bright on the bright sun. Then that's when it looks brown. So these clips are 
the exact same color as the face mask. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I didn't know we had those. I was stunned that you actually had them in such good condition. Well, we used to sell a bunch of them. People ask us all the time, hey, when are you gonna have more of those, those clips in stock? So it's not that we're ignoring you, um, but the reality is these are currently only available to NFL teams. We used to sell a bunch of them, um, but Under Armour, uh, for whatever their infinite wisdom is, they've decided only to provide them to the teams at the moment, but we are working closely with them trying to get more. So yeah. hopefully we'll have more in stock someday. I do not know when. Um, so if you ask, I'm gonna, we're gonna tell you, eh, we don't know. We know you want them. We want them too. We wanna sell them to you. Sure. But sure. we just can't right now. Yeah. So this is a Shock 1.0 Inferno Visor, which is one of the colors that Baker Mayfield wore while he was at Oklahoma. So Jay, we have the clear Oakley visors. Why aren't we, you wanna use? You bring up a good point. Um, Baker Mayfield has been spotted wearing a clear Oakley visor, and we just shipped up a bunch of Shock visors to the Browns, nice. so be on the lookout a bunch of different colors i know that a couple of browns players are already wearing shock visors and you're probably going to see more of them wearing them and i would bet money that you're going to see baker wearing one and they do come through our doors it's pretty cool and he's one of the few quarterbacks that actually wears a tinted visor during practice they obviously they can't wear them during the games yeah um, or tinted and colored visor that i guess a quarterback could wear a tint advisor during the games, but only if it was um, just tint, no colors are allowed. So let's talk about Mr. Uh, Baker for a minute. I gotta say, man, I think the fears of him being boisterous and having a loud mouth and getting in trouble, non-issue so far. You think so? Sure. Well, sure, not, not an issue so far. But I mean, dude, I mean, not to throw Johnny Manziel into the bus, but his issues people called out started immediately. And you can tell when it's going to stick. This guy looked like when they played the Giants, he looked sharp. I think he looked pretty good. Steve, you know that I'm a, I'm actually one of those, I don't know how rare I am. Tyrod. I'm a Tyrod Taylor fan. I think he's actually a good quarterback. Um, as a Lions fan, I would love to have a guy like sure. Tyrod Taylor as, a, as my backup for if and when Stafford goes down. And uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. But Well, I'll tell you this much. You know, Tyrod, he stays in the pocket. He reminds me a lot of more of the old school. Yeah, I mean, that's my fear with Baker. As with any of these mobile quarterbacks, you, if you're not Cam Newton size, you got to learn to stay in the pocket. That's where Baker might have an issue because against the Giants, dude, he was all over. And I'll tell you, you look back to a lot of these quarterbacks that can get away with that in college, that they got to learn. I yep. mean, again, uh, as a Lions fan, Matthew Stafford, there was a time when it was like, all right, if you can't learn to just stop, just yep. throw the ball out of bounds or just take the sack. Um, he takes so many unnecessary hits. If he didn't learn that lesson uh, in years, you know, one, two, and three, he wouldn't be playing now. Exactly. So get a quick, quick release tool out here, pop this guy in. Uh, we didn't talk about this chin strap yet. So this is a sports star chin strap. And this is the new Camp Edition, uh, which was kind of created for Baker. And uh, explain exactly what it is that makes it a Camp Edition, Jay. So what we've got here, Steve, is this is the, the new Camp Edition, which has these little rivet guys right here. And it's just a different variation. This is a GX4 uh, with the rivets. Uh, the Browns wear the orange or the matching orange uh, shock blocker. Um, and this was created for Baker Mayfield when he was at Oklahoma in camp. Is the last name of the equipment manager, and that's why they call it a camp edition. It's not because they wear it in camp. Aha, uh -huh. and that rivet, what it does is it stops the splitter from getting Correct. caught up. Correct, yeah. Correct. So let's throw this guy on, Steve. Oh yeah, there we go. Am I ready for uh, hard knocks? Uh, sure. The chin strap's looking a little off there, guy. Yeah. You know, you're chin not gonna... a little loose. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> That's okay. We it can happens. fix that later. It, yeah. it looks great. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of these visors out on the practice field for sure. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to adjust this chin strap a little bit, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So listen, here it is. Cleveland Browns helmet. Got the 3D bumper. We got the sports star chin strap. 
we've got the shock 1.0 visor in Inferno. We got 3D number on the back, a boss tag flag. We've taken Sports Star buckles and painted them to match the helmet. And see, we didn't even mention the 808 face mask. I mean, that's the coolest part, right? Made famous by Marcus Mariota, of course. Yep. And it continues with Baker Mayfield. There's a few other college guys that wear it. Um, I think you're gonna be seeing this more and more. Uh, so let us know what you think of this build here. Hope that you like it. Uh, what other player specific build would you like to see? Leave your comments below, like, share, click the uh, notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.